Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Friday morning. Hoping all is well with you out there today as always. I am happy to be home. It was a good trip. But if you listen to this podcast, you would know I like to be home. <laughs> so it's good to be back. Um, today I wanted to talk about a combination that when taken in the right time and when taken in the right serving sizes and environments, etc., etc. It goes on and on. It works so well for me. This is a killer combo for me. So, White Borneo, Green Mang Da. These two, I've kind of like come back to over and over again over the past two years. And it's pretty amazing. We've been doing this show for almost two years now. But um, basically, White Borneo has never been the one that I go to. Like, it's never been one that I was drawn to it never seemed like it did that much like for me and it always seemed like it only was worth taking when I took it in combination with something else which is fine but um once in a while I guess I've taken it and it's worked well on its own but usually I take it in conjunction with something else green mang dye I didn't know about until I did this show I discovered it pretty early on and it pretty quickly became one of my go-to types of kratom Now, what I discovered a while back is that these two work really well together for me, but, um, but I've also like had them together sometimes where it doesn't work that well. And I think that now I'm starting to figure out exactly what the conditions are that like, you know, the requirements that I need to meet, I guess you could say, to have a really great experience with these two. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. So what I've discovered is... To have green mang da and white borneo work best for me, the first thing that I do is I take the white borneo first. I don't know why this seems to work better. So I don't really know how else, like, I don't know how to talk through that. So I'm just going to say it. I take white borneo first and I take a small amount of it. Like maybe I will take half a gram of white borneo not more than a gram so we're talking very small and although i don't take large amounts of kratom i I take pretty small amounts compared to you know a lot of the experience you would read online about taking kratom um it's still like it's a small amount for me so i take a small amount of white borneo which on its own doesn't seem to really do that much for me more or less most of the time and then about five minutes later i will take green mang da I'll take maybe one and a half to two and a half grams of green mang da. No more than that. No more than two and a half grams of green mang da. So in total, we're talking about like three, three and a half grams of kratom at most. And and really, I don't really get up there. It's usually like two and a half grams when I'm doing this combo. Um, That's all. Like, that's it. And so the green mang da starts to build. The white Borneo is in there, but it's not really like, you know, it's just not a wow factor for me. It's just kind of there. And so somehow when I do it in that order and that spaced out and I do it in the morning, 
not the afternoon. It does not work as well in the afternoon when I do this. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. If I do it in the morning, then it's like setting me up for a great day. I have to have had a good amount of food, um, but that's kind of the norm for me. Like I have to, you know, make sure that I've eaten a good amount. I had a good breakfast. Um, I find that this combination works well for me, but that if I don't have a good amount of breakfast uh, beforehand, even if it's like a little breakfast, if it's not enough, then um, it can feel like I've taken a little too much, which is also why I like to take smaller amounts of it. And I kind of attribute that to like Green Mang Da just being really powerful in my opinion, but I don't, I don't know. Everybody's body is different, but this is just talking from personal experience, of course. So um, make making sure that I've had enough to eat, making sure that it's morning, making sure that it's not exceeding three grams, more preferably two and a half, and making sure that I take White Borneo ahead of time, um, five, ten minutes before Green Mang Da, it's going to be a great morning. It makes it so that as the Green Mang Da builds, it kind of has a base to build off of. Like the White Borneo kind of serves as a base or a pillar. Um, I always find weird ways of talking about this. Hopefully I get across to you what I mean. Um, but it kind of like, it kind of sets it up so that when the Green Mang Da starts to build, there's a little bit of energy there already. And there's a platform to build off of so that it's not like I'm going from zero to a hundred. It's kind of like I'm going from 20 to you know 70 or 20 to 100 like it just doesn't feel like it's as extreme a a launch or a liftoff in terms of kratom um kratom's never really like an intense liftoff for me but but green bank dot can build quite uh quite strong in the morning so um i it kind of almost in a way it's kind of strange but taking a different type of kratom for me white borneo which is a weaker one in my opinion kind of makes the build a little bit less intense with the green mang da and and it also smooths out the ride even more even though i think that green mang da is pretty smooth in my opinion so with that in mind it will be maybe like two to three to four hours of pretty consistent energy and just feeling the effects of kratom that can vary widely based on each person out there but for me it's like i'm able to maintain a consistent motivation level energy level interest in the world you know like just kind of like uh being content i know i did an episode recently on contentment or whatever the word it is that i said it's like kratom helps me figure out how to be content and and as a result of that all these things fall into place in life that happen when you are content with your life so it's like I'm able to maintain that as well. And with those things all together, you know, it's just, it makes a great morning for me. And so I'm kind of doing that today as my first day back from this trip. And it's helping me get back into the groove of really embracing like being home, but still working and I'm not traveling anymore. So like all the different strange things that happen when you're traveling, whether it's like the way you think about things is different or you're um you know you're not in your element or you are based on the type of person you are like all that can settle in and um and i can kind of settle back into my norm or at least you know the new norm whatever that may be and feel comfortable in it and confident in doing that so that's kind of what i'm doing today feels great um i i'm on top of it and uh you know here we go happy friday have a nice weekend And we'll be back on Monday to continue this consistency of contentment and confidence and wonderous feeling, whatever it is. (laughs) Uh, No, I'm not really selling it. I know. Anyway, that's not my job to sell anything. My job is just to talk about different things. And surprisingly enough, you all listen. Thank goodness for you. (laughs) Because if it wasn't for you, I'd be talking in an empty room right now. And it would seem kind of crazy. Although it still seems kind of nuts. All right, everyone, I'm going to leave it there on that wacky note. Thank you so much for listening. You guys are great. We are going to start next Monday off with the 10th season of Everything Kratom. 10th season. So we are aiming at episode 500 in our near future. All right, everyone, take it easy. You all are the best. I love you all so much. Keep on sending in those messages, those notes, those error corrections. I love that because I'm trying to improve my knowledge here, and I'm certainly not perfect or all-knowing. Um, I'm just your average Joe learning about Kratom, but, you know, (laughs) at a semi-slow rate. So there you go. 
All right. Thank you so much. You make this show great. And I will be back on Monday. And so will you hopefully too. Talk to you then. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.